Hi, I just wanted to say hello to Buckeye, Arizona. If you don't know me, my name is Oz Sailors. I'm a college baseball player at the University of Maine at Presque Isle. I feel blessed to be able to talk to you today and want to give you some advice about determination and never giving up. My history with baseball is I started when I was two years old. Um, my dad had me out there playing t-ball. My brother's five-year-old t-ball team did not have enough players on them, so the coach asked me to play. Ever since, I basically just fell in love with the game. Um, I always wanted to play baseball. Um, it was fun. It was something that I thought I was decent at. Um, it was a hobby. It was really a hobby for me, and um, that's that's basically how I got started. Um, when I was 10 years old, I was on a Pony All-Star team, and I went 4 for 4 that day um, as a 10-year-old, and my team lost um, in the semifinal game, so we, had, we didn't go to the regional final game, but I had a pretty good day, kind of upset about losing. I was a catcher at the time. Um, I'm a pitcher and infielder now, but back then I was a catcher. And um, a coach came up to me and said, hey, you know, you're a pretty good player, you're a good athlete, but I think if you played softball, you'd have a shot to play in college. And um, that kind of happened more often. Coaches kind of came up to me and said, hey, what are you going to do when it comes time to go to college or, you know, play in high school? Um, and I said, well, I want to play baseball. But girls don't play baseball, you know, in high school and college. And that was kind of the response I got. But I wanted to be the one that would end up breaking those barriers and, and those doors. So girls would come along, you know, after I'd graduated from high school or college and have that opportunity to play high school baseball or play college baseball. Because if you think about it, baseball is the American game. So if you're an American, um, why should it matter what gender you are? You should be able to play the game, you know, boy or girl. If you're good enough, you should have a shot to play in college. And that's just the kind of the way I thought, um, kind of my perception on that was I was going to be the one that I was going to play college baseball and I was going to do whatever it took to get there. And today, you know, it was a long road, but I can say that I'm a college baseball player. Um, I was inspired by athletes like Jackie Robinson and Jesse Owens who, was, who were able to, you know, persevere um, in the face of death threats and failure and people not believing in them, people judging them because of their skin tone and their race and I felt the same way about gender um, and they are great examples of athletes that never gave up and were able to overcome obstacles with class and dignity and that's one thing that we're not we don't see so often in the world and that's one thing that I wanted to be a light of and an example of to people like you um, the best day of my life most thrilling experience I had was the USA Baseball tryouts um, in June of 2010. I just finished my junior year of high school and went to USA Baseball tryouts in Phoenix, Arizona. And there I met Richard Hopkins, who became a very, very good friend of mine. Um, very supportive fan throughout the years. Um, I thought I had a decent tryout, but I was 17 years old, you know, and I know there was girls on the team who were um, you know, 37, 36, and I was just nervous. I was nervous, and I wanted to make this team, and I had trained all summer to make this team, and I had trained all year, and that was the only thing on my mind, and I was just, oh, I was nervous about it. Um, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it. Um, in high school, in high school, uh, it was a rough road for me, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that if you want to play high school baseball or high school sport with boys, it's going to be easy because it's not. But it's definitely doable and it's definitely worth it. Um, the obstacles you overcome um, are going to make you a better person. Um, I was forced to transfer high schools. There was, um, there was abuse. There was harassment at the first school I went to. And I transferred. And because I transferred, I met um, some of the people that... I would have never been able to meet um, because of the problems that I went through. You know, these people really reach out to me and help me become a, a better person. So um, I'm very thankful for their presence in my life today. Um, I remember making the national team probably the best day of my life was when we were in the conference room at the hotel 
in North Carolina, and my I heard my name called on the team. Um, it was just unbelievable. I remember putting on the USA jersey for the first time and, you know, getting the chills. Um, being able to represent your country, you know, being able to represent my country in foreign land, in Venezuela, you know, being able to hear the national anthem on other soil was just an amazing experience. It's, it's, it's indescribable. Um, another indescribable moment was March 5th, 2011. Um, I got a pitch against my teammate on the national team, a very good friend of mine, Marty Sementelli. It was the first time two girls pitched against each other in a high school game. I was honored to be a part of it, and uh, I hope a lot of young athletes see that um, as a, a stage of perseverance and, you know, not saying, you know, never saying no. And I hope that um, people will be inspired by that day and see the events that occurred on March 5th, you know, last year and and um, stick with the sport that they love no matter what anyone says. Um, there was issues with me um, in the NCAA scholarship boat with getting a baseball scholarship. There's something that you are protected by in this country. It's called Title IX. Um, Title IX gives you the right to, um, to have the same and equal opportunity for men's sports as there are women's sports. And if there's girls out there who are, you know, baseball, hockey, football players, where they don't typically have a women's football team, women's hockey team, women's baseball team at your high school or college, they have to give you the right to play. Um, so there's some coaches out there that, you know, I'm not going to name names, but they weren't very fair about Title IX. They didn't really live up to their expectations with that. But um, I was fortunate, and because I had such good grades, I got a very, very good scholarship at University of Maine Presque Isle, and I couldn't be any happier. And um, I'm just, you know, because I was a good student, and because I was a person off the field, um, I was able to, to get where I am today. And I couldn't be playing baseball right now if it wasn't for the effort I put in, not only, you know, in the training room, on the track, um, on the field, but also the effort that I put in in the classroom. Um, I wish you guys a lot of luck. I hope you listen to the people that, that talk to you today and in the future about your future in athletics. Um, I encourage you to get um, as involved in high school as you can. Um, the more involvement you have, um, the more people you're going to get to meet, the more people that are going to be there for you. Know that you're never alone. Know that there's always people out there that will listen. Um, whether it's me, you know, some of my teammates, um, whether it's Richard, um, no matter who it is, there's always going to be someone out there that's going to listen to you. And the more you get involved, the more you're going to meet these kind of people that are going to really influence your life. Um, yeah, I want you to get good grades. Um, the better grades you get, the better chance you have playing college sports. Um, also, Richard, um, question, do you have the gifts that I sent the girls, that I sent you to give the girls? Yeah, you have the gifts? Okay, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so there's some presents for you. I hope you guys have a very merry holiday season. Um, I wish you guys lots of luck. And um, dream on, you know, dream big and play hard and and uh, just have fun with everything. And um, best of luck in high school, best of luck in college. Um, if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, be, be your own hero. You grew up, you know, with heroes that you have, and I want you to be your own. So good luck and... Um, yeah, that's all I have to say to you guys. Um, have a great season. Have, have lots of fun out there and, and make the most of it. See you guys later.